Ionic liquids are a class of molten salts that have some very unique properties. They were originally discovered and put forward as an industrial solvent back in the Green Revolution. They were trying to replace organic solvents that had uh, environmental impact or had a negative impact on human health. And so ionic liquids are uh, just molten salts that at room temperature are free flowing just like any other liquid, um, but they are rather unique. Uh, sodium chloride, for example, can be a molten salt, but only becomes so at about 700 degrees Celsius. Uh, these ionic liquids, thankfully, because I'm standing here holding one, uh, are liquids at room temperature. And they have some very unique properties that we're trying to harness in our work at the Joint Bioenergy Institute. Certain ionic liquids are very good at transforming biomass and solubilizing it. This is corn stover, just ordinary corn stover that we get from the Midwest. And when we uh, mix it with uh, certain ionic liquids, they get completely solubilized and transform into what we lovingly call biomass soup. And so these ionic liquids at about 100 degrees C, the boiling point of water, can completely solubilize all the major components in the plant cell wall, be it the polysaccharides, the lignin, any other components that are there. And then once we have it in this soluble state, now we can transform it and fractionate it in pretty much any way that we wish to. And so by the addition of an anti-solvent, we can recover a product that is very enriched in polysaccharides, uh, is much easier to convert into fermentable sugars, and therefore transform it into biofuels and renewable chemicals. Uh, the way in which the ionic liquids do this to lignocellulosic biomass are governed by the interactions of the anions and cations with the different components in the plant cell wall. And the ionic liquids are typically a mixture of a rather big clunky cation and a smaller anion. And in the case of microcrystalline cellulose, that combination can really impact and perturb the hydrogen bonding that is present between these different strands of cellulose. And so the basic premise is that these components in the, in the plant cell wall would rather interact and be hanging out with the ionic liquid than they would with each other. And so just like you take a polymer and you put it into a solvent and it dissolves, we're doing the same thing. But in this case, the polymers are the plant cell walls. Renewable ionic liquids are a new class of ionic liquids that we pioneered here at the Joint Bioenergy Institute. Um, a lot of the conventional ionic liquids that we use for biomass pretreatment are derived from petroleum or fossil sources. And we thought, gosh, wouldn't it be great if we could come up with a renewable ionic liquid for a renewable manufacturing process and the production of biofuels. And so we had a team here that was looking at the different elements in, that are available in biomass. One of the components is lignin. And lignin is very recalcitrant, it's very hard to break down, and we really don't know any good use for it, to be honest with you. So our team here at JBay developed a route that we can transform this waste stream in lignin and convert it into these renewable ionic liquids. And we refer to them here as bionic liquids. And the good news is, is that these bionic liquids that we've developed here are as effective in pre-treating biomass as their conventional counterparts. And it also opens up the door to what we call a closed loop biorefinery, where you can bring the biomass in, pre-treat it with this bionic liquid, generate these high yields of fermentable sugars, and then transform those sugars into advanced biofuels and renewable chemicals. And then that lignin waste stream that you generate every time you process the biomass, we can then convert into these bionic liquids. And those that we need to make up for, we can use in-house at the biorefinery, but we can also sell the remaining or residual bionic liquids out into the marketplace. And the even better news is that these bionic liquids are calculated to be much less expensive than the conventional ionic liquids. So now we have a competitive edge in the marketplace. Theoretically, these bionic liquids could actually make a difference in the marketplace, not only to the biorefinery, but to the broader commercial sector that uses these compounds every day.